Welcome to this edition of Oregon State University's Dictionary of Applied Economics. My name is James Stearns, and I am a faculty member here in the department. Uh, I conduct research and teach uh, in the general area of uh, agribusiness marketing. And today in this video, I'd like to define that topic uh, from a traditional agricultural economics perspective. In a second video paired with this one, I provide a supplemental set of ideas to put a more contemporary spin on how I think about agribusiness marketing in today's current agri-food system. But I want to start with the basics today. First, by volume, it's important to remember that the vast majority of agricultural products bought and sold in the United States are marketed as commodities. By definition, commodities are interchangeable. My bushels of apples, wheat, corn, or soybeans are identical to and equally interchangeable to everybody else's bushels of apples, corn, wheat, or soybeans. Economists say commodities are homogeneous or perfect substitutes. And when goods are perfectly interchangeable, price becomes the only factor that drives sales. No one will buy my really, really expensive apples if there are exactly the same apples that are really, really cheap somewhere else. In commodity markets, there's only one price, and all farmers selling in that market must sell at that price. In commodity markets, farmers are price takers. As price takers, farmers are limited in how they can market their products. As a consequence, agribusiness marketing emphasizes two marketing strategies. And it's the central role of these two strategies that make agribusiness marketing different from marketing in other industries. These strategies are price risk management and arbitrage. Price risk management includes a range of strategies such as forward contracting to lock in a price with a contract between a buyer and seller, sometimes even before the crop is even in the ground. Another strategy is the use of futures and options contracts to hedge price risk. Hedging is the topic of another video in our dictionary series. So watch that video to get a better understanding of what we mean by futures and options and how they actually work. Arbitrage is just a fancy word for market opportunities that may exist when two conditions are true. First, there are two separate markets in which the same commodity products are being sold. And second, the commodity is selling at a higher price in one of those two markets. For example, as a wheat farmer, I could sell to a local grain buyer. But if the price of wheat is higher at a terminal market in a port city 200 miles away, I may want to sell to a buyer in that market. Arbitrage also can be over time. I can sell to the same local buyer now at harvest or maybe six months from now especially if I think the price is going to be higher six months later. So I may want to store my wheat on my farm while I wait for the higher price. The key to arbitrage is determining if the higher price is high enough to cover the cost to access that second market. Will the cost of transporting or the cost of storage, uh, storing my wheat, negate the gains of selling it at the higher price in the other market? And that's what arbitrage is all about managing these kinds of choices. The final aspect of agribusiness marketing that needs our attention is the long history of relying on collective action to facilitate the marketing of agricultural products. Farmers have attempted to overcome the challenges of being price takers by pursuing a wide range of actions that include marketing cooperatives, which have been used to leverage large volumes to negotiate a better price, as well as marketing orders and promotional boards, which have been used to fund uh, marketing campaigns and promotional activities in order to increase sales and grow demand for a, a farmer's product. So these are the elements that define agribusiness marketing. It's the marketing of agricultural commodities as a price taker with price risk management, arbitrage, and collective action as the main levers that agribusiness managers can use to pursue profitability and success in their marketing efforts.